Today is my 23rd day of Manifesting Soul Love, which is a project that I created um, essentially to manifest my mate contract into my life. Um, but what I really discovered is that it's not at all, or not really so much at all about this other person, but really about myself. And about, that's why I called it Manifesting Soul Love, about manifesting so uh, self-love on a soul level where the difference between me and somebody else, me and you, me and my mate contract, me and God, um, starts to dissipate and dissolve. And at that level of spirit where we're all one, that as I love myself, I'm actually extending that love to my mate contract um, and also to the whole entire world and also to God and myself as God. So um, it's been pretty profound. Uh, 23 days in, I definitely feel like, sorry, there's a plane coming by. I definitely feel like I'm more patient, which was a really big aspect of uh, sort of me making this the Facebook group and this whole challenge to begin with was that I have so much energy um, and desire around this creation and reality in my life that it can cause a lot of impatience in myself. And so I wanted to channel and focus that energy in a way that would be productive um, so I don't have to feel like I'm waiting, just twiddling my thumbs. And yeah, there's a way that um, this whole process has really brought me to a calmer, more centered space within myself and a more patient space, which I think is really important. So today, while I was in meditation, I just wanted to share with you kind of like some things that have been coming up for me and then my self-love practice that, that occurred earlier today. So um, one thing that I've struggled with for a really long time is boundaries. I definitely lean more heavily towards the being overly merciful, um, basically being a doormat to people, um, wanting to be so kind to others that I don't take care of myself. And it's been something that I've done a really significant amount of work on in the last two years, but that is so hardwired into my system that I keep finding it in deeper and new places, and it's really like <laughs> a process, let's say. So I work with clients. Um, I do energy healing and um, basically help them heal themselves on a really deep and fundamental level. So the work that I do is incredibly beautiful, incredibly sacred. Um, it's not a sales transaction. And when I'm with clients, um, not only is that a new way for me to be, I was a scientist. I was never in business. Like I didn't have this aspiration to be a businesswoman in the least. And now I run my own business and it's like, it's cool because that's the cool thing to do right now, but it's also so many new skills that I never ever had or practiced or developed. And specifically the sales piece because, um, you know, if boundaries are an issue for you, then asking for payment, standing or ground for payment is problematic. So I go one of two ways. Either I like totally avoid the conversation until the very end and then like really awkwardly kind of ask for payment, but in this way that's not very um, clear and concise. And, or I'm like overly aggressive because I have all these um, fears surrounding asking for payment, being worthy enough, am I going to bother them, and all this whole storyline that, um, that I'll be like overly aggressive or even greedy. And because the work that I'm doing is so sacred, that doesn't work. Um, and the other side of it doesn't work either because what ends up happening is that I get super stressed out that I wasn't clear enough. Now they, they owe me money and I need to follow up with them like 800 times. And the realization that I had when I was talking to a friend about this the other day is that I see the one hand as being the, the overly assertive and overly aggressive and greedy side as definitively evil. Right? That's very clear for me that that's a negative space to be in and I don't want to be there. But I didn't realize just how evil the other space is that I've been occupying. So not only is it evil to me that I'm not getting paid in the way that I need to be getting paid, but I'm actually preventing these people from having a clear and concise entry point into what will 
probably save their soul and possibly even save their lives. And so for me, not having clear and established value uh, boundaries, I'm actually doing harm to these clients of mine. And that was a realization that really hadn't hit me until just the other day, just like how insidious that evil was, how clear it was on, on the other side, and yet um, the other extreme is equally evil, and it really had been um, masquerading in my consciousness as like, yeah, kind of something I needed to work on, but not like doing this great disservice to my clients and to myself, where that's actually what it is. Um, so that realization gave me a lot of momentum and energy to really work on being extremely clear and concise and at approaching all of those conversations around finances within my business from a place of deep self-worth and of balance. It's not about um, it's not about being assertive, it's not about being salesy, it's about finding that harmony that's truly serving me and truly serving my clients because the work that I do is sacred. It, if I, if it were any other business transaction, maybe being overly assertive would be okay, right? Because that's how, I mean, okay in the sense of the karmic feedback wouldn't be instantaneous. <laughs> I mean, that's how most of the businesses in our world run, right? But because the work that I do is in the light, for the light, it literally won't flow. Like that client will leave, it won't happen, I'll push them away. There was like some energetic thing happening there that I like actually can't serve them if it's not coming from a place of light. Um, that's obviously, and what I'm saying now is that I realize that's happening on the other side too, that me not having boundaries is also not in the light. And it's equally evil, equally stopping both my pro progression and the progression of these people. So. Um, so that realization was really, really profound for me and um, has sparked this energy of, you know, what will keep me in balance, which is more assertiveness, because that's where I'm out of balance, right? I'm being too much of a doormat, too people-pleasing, that kind of thing. Um, and then my practice today was really loving myself for those faults, like seeing so deeply how much that's harmed both me and the people I meant to serve. Like there's all these people that have kind of come and gone as potential clients that I haven't um, created really clear and defined boundaries or container for them to progress. And so they've sort of slipped away. And that's painful because I do believe that the work that I do is going to help them on a soul level. So it's painful when somebody comes to you for help, there's that opportunity for you to serve them. And because of your own imbalance, because of your own evil, you're not able to serve them. And um, I really was just sitting there looking at that and really loving myself and being like, it's okay. Yeah, that happened. It happened a lot. It's happened like so many times. And there's not only the pain within myself of lost opportunity, but um, the pain of their souls not, not getting what they needed. So really feeling the weight of that and at the same time bringing immense self-compassion and love there and, um, and finding peace and acceptance with my imbalances so that I can heal it, so that I can move on, so that I can close that chapter more. <laughs> I'll probably find another layer deeper, great. <laughs> but so that I can, you know, really, really let that go a little bit more. So, um, needless to say, this whole process, it's only 23 days in, has been really cool. And um, I've definitely let go of that, like, obsessive energy around it being about my mate contract and started to steer all of that um power and force back into myself, which I think is also very related to boundaries, right? Because it's not it's not about reaching out and, and putting all my love and attention out, but actually refocusing all that love and attention back into myself, um, where it's very much needed. If you're always giving, letting other people get stuff, you deplete yourself. And so learning to harness and refocus that energy back in so that you can better serve 
is I think one of the biggest learning curves for me, at least so far in my life, um, but obviously for many other people as well. So thank you guys so much for sharing with me in this journey, and I really hope that you all are progressing in your own way, learning things in your own way, um, and taking time out to really nourish yourself and to give yourself love. So thank you very much.